Hello right bags, it's Jade, welcome to a grounded tutorial. Today I'm going to show you everything you need to know about the spinner, how long it takes to craft silk rope as well as crude rope and pretty much all the things you need to unlock it and start making it. You're going to need quite a bit of it for weapons and you will need it for some of your crafting but don't worry, you still need the basic web as well for certain things. So I'm going to take you all through it today, don't forget to like and subscribe and go and check out all my other grounded content. Let's go! So I'm sure you've pretty much gathered and scanned yourself an acorn top by now, but if you're new to the game or fairly new, then it's the acorn top that you've got a scanner and analyzer to unlock the brand new spinner. To make the spinner, you're also gonna need four pieces of clay. You're gonna need four crude rope, two actual acorn tops, so you're gonna to have to crack it with a hammer, and you're definitely gonna need three pieces of sap as well, and four ant parts. Once it's built, then you can go ahead and start putting either plain fiber inside or you can get some of the web and you put the web inside. Each one is gonna take a while to convert into what it comes out as. So basically when you put the web inside, it's gonna come out as silk rope. Now I've sped this up, it actually takes two minutes and 22 seconds to craft one single piece of web into one piece of silk rope. And you can only do one at a time. So if you want to have lots of this going at the right time, you're gonna to have to actually make a lot of these spinning wheels and have them running loads. You might need four or five, like a mini factory, before you can get loads and loads of it guaranteed. You can load up four and queue it up, but yeah, it's gonna take two minutes, 22 seconds for each one. Once it's done, you can go ahead and then take it from the complete section. Although at the moment it's a little bit glitchy and buggy, you may have to come out the spinner and then go back in to pick it up. And it's pretty much the same time for grass fiber as well. The best thing about this is though, that if you put one grass fiber inside your spinner, what you'll get out is three pieces of crude rope. Normally it takes three grass fiber just to make one single crude rope. So it's definitely a lot better to do the spinner queue these up and so you'll always have a lot more crude rope from now on. Again, I have sped it up, but it is exactly the same time. Maybe they'll adjust that in the future, so if they do, don't come shouting at me that it's a lot quicker. And hopefully, I kind of want them to do it so that you can do it a little bit more instantaneous, or it does four at once. I think that would be better than having to wait ages. So it'd literally take you about 10 minutes to craft either four pieces of silk or four pieces of crude rope. Go ahead and put web or the fiber and it will craft whatever it is inside it. You don't have to have it just all the web or all the fiber. It would also be maybe nice to have some sort of perk, maybe a crafting perk that increases the crafting time. So maybe if you craft 100 items, then maybe you can get a special mutation that means it's gonna be quicker. Something to think about for the future. Now you'll get web fibers from spider webs, you'll get from spiderlings, and you'll often sometimes get from all weavers. But a new destination, a new place you can get from is the web sacks. If you attack these, they will have sometimes spiderlings inside them, but they also have bug parts and you will get some more web fiber. You'll find loads of these spider sacks either underneath the great big massive stone uh, flagstone with the little spider's nest in it, or all over the hedge area. What this update's done, it has is made some of the tier two items a bit harder to get hold of, especially weapons like the insect hammer, the insect bow, and the spider fang dagger. You're gonna need lots of the silk rope. So pretty much means you're gonna have to go and try and get as much web spider stuff as you can. That means taking on more spiders, but you're gonna have to do that before you can unlock a lot more of the tier two items. For build pieces, there's still quite a few build pieces that just need regular web including the Dew Collector, as well as the Bouncer as well. You might find ready-made zip line anchor points in the world. Well, that's what sometimes you'll need the silk rope for if it's missing, or you can make your own zip anchor points and connect them up to these made ones that are already there. Or you can go ahead and make yourself two anchor points completely separate, and as long as they're connecting, yeah, you can travel across the whole of the entire yard and map. So web fiber and the rope silk have just become hugely, hugely important for getting across the map really quickly and for getting tier two items. And that is pretty much everything you need to know about the spinner. Go ahead, make yourself a spinning factory so you've always got lots of the silk rope, and lots of the fiber, the crude rope on the go. Let me know how you're gonna utilize them. And like I said, I do hope they add some perks. Don't forget to like, make sure you subscribe, go check out all my other content and I'll see you rat bags later on.